Today I'm going to show you the stunning island of Pensacola Beach and show you my five top restaurants that as a local I love to go to. So we're going to do a walkthrough on all five, day and night. Let's check it out. That day, I actually asked my husband to take me to the beach on his bike. Sunset time, very, very nice, gorgeous sunsets on Pensacola Beach. And this is basically the entrance of the island. And I'm gonna go from number five to number one spot for me. Enjoy the video. Here we go. Number five for me is Casino Beach. And one of the things that I love about Casino Beach is how open it is and is really close proximity to the beach. You can see the whole area and the beach is really beautiful. You can actually uh, go paddle boarding, you can uh, actually play beach volleyball or simply enjoy a scenic stroll along the shore. One of the favorite things from Casino Beach for me is the Cuban sandwiches. Also the burgers and the salads are really, really good. And when it comes to the drinks, they are super affordable in comparison with other Florida destinations. They are under $10. Yes, you heard that right. I love flavor martinis. My favorite is a lemon drop martini and the Cosmopolitan, and they're super good. And if you want to go to a more upscale restaurant, there is also a second restaurant upstairs on the second floor. Number four for me is the dock. And one of the things that I love about the dock is how relaxed and laid back it is. The stunning views, fresh seafood, it's a totally casual atmosphere. And my recent visit to the dock about two weeks ago, it just made it very memorable. Definitely, um, you need to visit the dock if you're on Pensacola Beach. This is the footage that I took at nighttime for you guys to see the feel of the restaurant and bar at night. When I came in, they were setting up the live music. Is uh, There were a few, quite a number of people there, lots of fun, uh, different how it looks at night. I love it at night too. You can play pool table, you can watch the band. They usually have live music every night of the week. Number three for me is crabs. Crabs, it captures the essence of coastal dining. These restaurants specialize in a wide variety of crab dishes. From the classic Maryland blue crab to the sweet and succulent Dungeness crab. I personally love the crab bisque and the crab stuffed shrimp. The menu offers a range of other seafood options, ensuring that there is something for everyone. And you can certainly enjoy your meal while you're also enjoying the breathtaking views of the sparkling Gulf of Mexico. So as you can see, the restaurant is really large. It has two stories, plenty of room for you to have, if, even if you want to have a large gathering with friends and family or just as a, a romantic dinner on the beach. I came back about a week later and took a footage of night time for you guys to see how the restaurant feels and looks during night time. So either you want to go there for dinner or during lunchtime during the day. I love how casual this restaurant is. Even on, during the day, if you're on the beach and you will get hungry, you don't have to worry about, oh, I have to dress up or put extra clothing on. The restaurant is super casual and you can just go in your bathing suit, sit there, enjoy drinks, enjoy lunch, and just have fun. Number two for me is flounders. When I think of flounders, I usually think of a laid back and casual atmosphere with a focus on fresh seafood dishes. They embrace a coastal location and offer a range of seafood options, including locally caught fish, shrimp, oysters, crab, and even sushi. They also offer a 
souvenir store, shopping store right next door. And as you can see, it's wide open, very large restaurant. It, uh, it even has a stage. They do play live music almost every day. And you certainly don't want to miss the um, amazing bands that come on the weekends. On the other side of the restaurant, you can choose to be by the sound and watch people play volleyball or even play volleyball yourself and it also has another small bar by the sound by the water where you can just enjoy people coming in on boats the, the locals just love this restaurant because of it my favorite dish at flounders is the stuffed flounder is to die for and i love also the diesel fuel drinks is a drink that is really large a combination of different liquors and is very popular you don't want to miss that one if you like to drink so this is the footage that i took at night time and uh, just a small walk through for you guys to see the other side of the restaurant like i mentioned before it has a playground for the kids and this is uh, how it looks and feels at night time so you definitely don't want to miss this one it's a fun place for kids and also adults And number one for me is Redfish Bluefish. I love, love, love this restaurant for many reasons. It location, their seafood cuisine, the outdoor seating, the casual atmosphere, and the signature drinks are amazing. So, it, so I would just say that Redfish Bluefish is not just the restaurant, it's definitely an experience. This is a footage at night, and as you can see, it's super laid back at night too. It's gorgeous nighttime as well. I love the fact that you can even bring your dog. Super family friendly. And my favorite ones on the menu are the baked oysters, and they have different bowls. They have the chicken, fish of the day bowl, they have the shrimp bowl. My favorite is the grouper and the tacos are also really good as you can see there uh -huh, that night i was having the oysters and <laughs> it didn't even last for five minutes <laughs> i hope you enjoyed the walkthroughs of my favorite five restaurants on pensacola beach if you want to know more about the area don't hesitate to put a comment below and let me know what you need to know i would love to be the source of information to all of you about pensacola beach and its surrounding areas don't forget to subscribe to my channel and smash that like button and hit that bell so you will be notified of every video that i coming out with for you every week about this amazing paradise until the next one